Gamers, welcome back. My name is Zach. Anyong Loim Nila. What's this for? Uh, right now is looking YouTube. YouTube. Oh, uh, y'all find out my name on the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you guys know what that means. Jump on a Patreon where there's a lot of exclusive stuff. Unlockable. Characters. Not only is his name over there on the Patreon, there's a lot of exclusive TXT content. That yeah, YouTube, YouTube be hating, years, man. Years of content, honestly. Yeah, like it can go back. So what year? Twenty twenty one. Yeah. Mm. Damn. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, we got a, a streaming service down there. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> much. yeah. So you might as well go over there, do a little something we call a redemption reaction party. Mm-hmm. I know you guys haven't had one of those all fall. I should have had one for Halloween, but it was our fault. So you guys can have one for Thanksgiving. Boom. Turkey time. While you guys are eating leftovers. Black Boom. Friday sandwiches. Shit, groceries expensive. Why are we? <laughs> Everybody we going to have, have a communal nice Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving this year. Yeah, they and need depending a, on how tomorrow go, people ain't gonna. They need a um <laughs> for Black Friday. I want to see groceries. Do some so. discounts or something. It's crazy because I don't want to like. I got a TV over well, I told my stepsister I was gonna go to her. Uh, I, I need some eggs, some so. milk, some milk for it. Like that's what I want for Thanksgiving. Going to my crib. For Black Friday, I want grocery deals, man. Well, Imagine a, a gallon of milk for a dollar. That's what they got. Give do, me five hundred dollars yeah. in SNAP and EBT. <laughs> like, Damn. That's, that's crazy. Are we asking for too much? Fuck. You know how much it costs to feed people on Thanksgiving? Well, anyway, we let's not get over the moon yeah. with our assumptions. Today we have TXT over the moon. Uh-huh. That pun. Mm-hmm. Um, let's just jump into TXT. This is so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful though. Sad and beautiful. Ooh. Okay. It's so weird seeing an idol shave. Like, bro, y'all do not be having no facial hair. Ass voice is that? I love this beat. This the, the production. kind of quick but you know definitely felt like that song was fast yeah it felt like an interlude almost uh but like i said i love the production pretty smooth vibe and mellow 
but uh, and the, the vocals through the falsetto that part specifically like kind of hit for me. Yeah. But as a song, it didn't really. Damn! Now that I think about it, this is the first TXT song. I'm guessing it's a title track. This is the first TXT title track in about five of them that I'm not like feeling because the last four straight. What? All the hits. Deja Vu is a hit. Mm-hmm. I loved. Uh, well, actually, no. What is it about this one? Growing Growing Pain wasn't a title. Growing Pain wasn't a title track, but I loved Growing Pain and the other songs from that uh, EP. No way. From yeah, yeah, from last year, yeah. Uh, and then Sugar Rush Ride and uh, the Devil. Um, oh, what was, um, that, what was that John? Because that that album had Coil Ray on it. Yeah, I know the one you're talking about with Coy. Devil by the window. Yep. Devil by the window. Yeah. My favorite one right there. And then before that opening sequence, and uh, shit, what's the other? But y'all get what I'm saying. F- like four straight, like TXT been knocking it out of the park. I'm gonna listen to the album because they earned it. Like I said, Deja Vu is probably at top three, if not number one, uh, best boy group song this year. So. Listen, I ain't mad at it, but this one just ain't it for me. I, like I said, I love the production. The falsetto on here was cool, but just overall, yeah, the song felt right. It wasn't nothing spectacular. It just felt a little it short. Cool. Cool. Yeah, cool. it felt like stuff I know you could do. But I will say, you know, especially with this coming off of, um, you know, we just reacted to Young June's, the, the gum song or whatever like that that came out last month or the month before. Mm-hmm. So that was cool, but... Hey, that was the gum. Yeah. Gum. Yeah, it, it, that didn't hit for me. Um... Like I said, I love his production, but eh. yeah, I think we'll it was. See. I'll give it, I'll give the project a listen now. For me, it was like you said, the production. I like. Vo- I feel like vocally they killed this. Like mm-hmm. during the chorus, they smelt it vocally. Um, song, not really for me. Probably not right now. Yeah, but it's not a problem. It's still a good song. Still killed it. Uh, definitely need to see more TXT. This just dropped, literally. Oh yeah, they had the chasing that feeling song last year. I didn't like that. That shit was hot. I chasing actually did like. That y'all like chasing yeah, that feeling? I chasing that like feeling that. didn't really do it for any of the song with the Jonas Brothers too. Yeah. But growing pain, mm-hmm. this shit right here. I remember this. Dog, when I heard this, shit, I was like, whoa, whoa mm-hmm. what? Then free falling. It's my shit. How you feel over there, bro? What's up, Jay? Send us home. It's all right. You know, I wasn't over the moon. It was just on mm-hmm. the moon. Mm-hmm. Not over it. Just on it. It's understandable. It's all right. I would do my cup of Joe. It's almost time for people to start drinking Joe. Coffee and tea yeah, and things. Coffee, I haven't drank coffee in ten years. Yeah. Damn. Ten you years sober. Like it, it used to just dehydrate me and tire me the fuck out. Like I drink a cup of coffee, I did that be like <laughs> my desk and shit. And that's not you good enough. Nice yeah. I used to get like a uh what caramel macchiatos or um the uh ice lattes and shit like that. Mm. And or like the monster, the Java monster, bro. I'd be sitting there slumped. <laughs> like, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with Bo? What's wrong with me? <laughs> He's had some coffee. <laughs> but yeah. So like I said, I uh, I check that the project out. They've earned that with me, where I could still. I don't care if I don't like the, t- the uh, title track. I'll still check the project out. So y'all, let us know what y'all think about Over the Moon. Are y'all Over the Moon for Over the Moon? Let us know. Or are you still chasing that feeling? Or are you having a little mm. growing pains? Mm. Mm-hmm. Or maybe you're running from the devil by the window. We love you guys. Thank you guys. Anyong. Peace.